collapse um, because she's a true rag doll now and you do get to see some graphic imagery sometimes <laughs> given that these models come with uh, female genitalia I've seen some pretty hilarious um, backflip moves that uh, show a bit too much oh there we go <laughs> so we can see that the um, rag doll actually is working and she's done a mad backflip if we um, give her a bit more height then gravity will kick in and she might fall in a more dramatic or at least less explicit manner so if I take her up like that and we'll just tilt her a little bit just to test so she's going to fall at a weird angle and uh, now we zoom in a bit and we unselect her so we can see it and we run now you can see she looks unbelievably realistic well not realistic but very high quality of course in your real game you're going to have to decimate that because her dress alone is it's being split up by unity because it's so high poly here we go so she falls that's a pretty good uh, ragdoll lifeless body and she's actually not even rolling around on the ground which they normally do when they get uh, physics applied to them they sometimes jitter around I wonder if we can lift her in real time just to see uh, what happens when gravity re-kicks in or whether that won't work oh we can look at that so you can throw her up in the air anyway so that's a working rag doll awesome now we've taken that from Daz she's dancing on the ground there and uh, that in itself is huge uh, the pivotal point being what is the pivotal point I can't remember what was so difficult about it oh the hair if you get a problem with the hair and I'm not sure why I didn't unless I used the one before but normally the hair gets left behind and what you have to do in that instance is you know I'm not even convinced I'm using the right model oh, I must be but anyway I moved the hair which is this one into the head so it was associated with the head and the eyes and all that and that stopped the hair moving that took me bloody ages to work out Right, where was I? So we've got the character from Daz in here, which is great. Now we want it to become some sort of enemy. Now I'll warn you, at this point I have some bugs. I can't make them carry guns properly, and I can't kill them properly. But I can get them to turn into a monster and walk around, uh, an enemy and walk around. So, and the gun thing is just a bug. In my next video, once the author of the AI, sh Shooter AI, has replied, I'll do a follow-up to this. But I really wanted to do this before I forget. Right, so you go to tools, shooter AI, create new character. And now, uh, well, let's call the new character YouTube AI. And you want to select the object that contains the model, I think it says. Model with the ragdoll, yes. So that is clearly this YouTube test woman I think I dragged in no I don't think it matters just drag in the top one now gun uh, just to make things easier I do give her a gun I just turn it off because there's another couple of bugs in the code where it checks if there's a gun even if you haven't turned on the gun stuff it'll, it'll look for it so um, I have a pistol here somewhere um, and I'm not going to go through the hassle of dragging it all the way over to her head and stuff because um, like I said it doesn't quite work yet but this is from uh, UFPS so I'm just gonna drop that pistol in there right? and that's actually a pickup object and I'm just gonna turn off any of the UFPS scripts so in, essentially it's just a, um, it's just a model now <clears throat> right but it's nowhere near her because it won't work so now I'll go back to her and I'll click, uh, well, let's make sure her angle is not silly. So I'll put that back to zero. Put that back to zero. 
Um, click create AI. This then goes away and makes a new game object called YouTube AI, as you can see here. And she's now redundant, actually, so you can forget about her. YouTube AI seems to appear randomly, but uh, I don't know where. Maybe this is 000. zero, zero. <coughs> In fact, it probably is, yes. But uh, you get this character, so let's just uh, drag it somewhere where we can see it. Alright, so here we are. Put her on the floor. Oops, there's that mouse glitch. Um, okay, okay. Drop her onto the floor there. Now we'll make her a lot bigger because she's tiny, in fact, but it doesn't really matter. But you can actually scale her up at this point without any problem. As long as you have a mouse that doesn't keep doing that. Oh, God. Right. Uh, there we go. Let's just say she's that big. And she's an instance of the AI now. She's got all of the, th the scripts down the right hand side here. Um, let's just see what happens if we hit run now. Right. So she's got AI, she's got a rag doll, she's all good. Now I can't remember, I think something goes wrong here. And then there's one more bug to fix. So something's gone wrong. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the weapon system. Looking for the weapon. So for now, as I say, I don't know how to do that. Even when I associate a weapon, I get uh, this error here, even when there's a weapon there, um, about it checking the gun, and the gun is is null. I have posted uh, a link on the forum about that. So as I say, in the next one, that will be what I talk about. But for now, you can turn off the AI weapon controller by unticking that. And then press play again. And now she is a fully working AI character, hopefully. Well, she's not going to chase anyone because she's got no information about that. And you can look at all of the AI shooter tutorials for that. They're perfect. But this tutorial or video is specifically about taking a character from Daz into uh, Unity and um, Shooter AI. Now there's her gun, actually. It has moved her gun for me, which is strange. But... Um, as you can see, she's in her idle stance, she's moving around. Awesome. She looks great. The graphics are beautiful. I could never have done this on my own. But oh, she's just standing there. Look at the shadows too. So now let's make her walk around a bit. And then that's pretty much it after that because that's my promise. And I was dreaming about being able to do this. Literally, literally dreaming. So uh, you go to um, Patrol Manager. Her first point is there, right? So that's on her under her feet. So the second point, let's just put it there. And the third point, let's put it there. So she'll do a little sort of U, a little L shape. And as you can see by clicking there, <coughs> it highlights the route she would take. And I've got one minute left because I'm only on 10 minutes on YouTube at the moment. So all I want to do is demonstrate that she starts to walk around and looks really good. So when the patrol manager kicks in, there you go, she starts to walk, yeah she's walking very slowly because of the scale I did, but you can go and adjust her uh, speed, but now she is fully animated and taking the route I gave her, and she's come directly from Daz into the Unity and to AI Shooter, and that my friends is awesome once you get the guns going it's it's almost foolproofly easy isn't it do this a few times and you'll be sorted and look at the quality of her as i say i'm going to use cruncher to make the LODs up but uh, you could use decimator too thank you for watching very much